Okay guys, what I'm going to do here is quickly show you a way that you can proofread and plagiarize check any papers that you might be writing for any class. So look at the screen, you have your Google screen and you go to www.paperrader.com. You click here and go to use it now free. Right. Very simply, you go to your document. Don't copy the heading when you are copying your document. You take your paper, copy it. See this paper is from a Google Doc. Copy your paper. and you paste it into the box. Right. It gives you space to put your Works Cited page. You should always put your Works Cited, but don't actually put the words Works Cited, leave those off. When you put the headings, it messes them up. Right. So you copy your sources, paste your sources, okay. Put your grade, very important to put your grade because it does base your writing on what your grade level is. Okay. And make sure you turn on the plagiarism detector. It makes the analysis a little bit slower, but you should still turn it on. Click, I have read the terms and conditions. Please just accept them. Okay, and then hit get report. Okay. And what it does now is it gives you a report, All right? So you go through your report piece by piece, okay? Uh, you start with your plagiarism detector. You want this number to be, the score to be as high as possible, All right? What it does is it searches the internet. If it finds your same words, then you've plagiarized. That's bad, okay? Then you go through. All right, uh, this particular paper has no spelling errors, but if there were spelling errors, it would highlight them for you and give you the opportunity to fix them. Keep in mind though that this is a computer. Sometimes it reads a spelling problem when it just doesn't recognize your word. So don't just blindly change things. Pay attention to what it says. Okay. Gives you grammar suggestions. Grammar problems are highlighted in green. You don't wanna have any grammar mistakes in your essay. Right, it highlights all of them and it tells you again how to fix them. Right. Gives you word choice. Right. Um, you again want this score to be as low as possible. See where it says there lower is better. Original phrases. All right. And notice that it kind of walks you through. Uh, it talks about style. Transition words are important. Make sure you are using your transition words. And if you look, it gives you samples on how to do it. All right? Again, you want this number, you want to be better than as many people as possible, quite honestly. All right? Sentence length. Again, it talks about varying sentence length. You can click. All right? And... It'll walk you through it. It even gives you some helpful resources if you're not sure why. What you really want is you want your sentence length to be varied. You want some long sentences, some short sentences. It's a sign of good writing. All right, um, skip that one because we're not paying for this. We're using it free. You want a sentence beginnings. Okay. Um, you Again, variety. You want to start with different parts of speech. Okay. And again, helpful resources that will help you figure out how to fix it. All right. Uh, generally speaking, you want to write in the active voice, not the passive voice. So it highlights points of passive voice. All right. And again, gives you an explanation of how to tell the difference. So for example, I pretend I don't know what the difference between active and passive voice is. If I click, and it takes me to 
a page that gives me more information and examples it can be very helpful. Again, this is a way to improve your writing. You want your writing to be as good as possible, right? Talks about vocabulary words. We've been working on vocabulary this year, appropriate words for 10th graders. Uh, this particular sample does not have a very good vocabulary score, all right? The only 10th grade level word that it really found in the paper was outraged, right? Uh, they give you a vocabulary builder. You can use a thesaurus. You want to, you want to try and use your fancy words here. Okay. Now, it gives a grade. This is not the grade that you would actually get on your essay or your paper because, as it says, it's not grading your content. It's not grading your history. All this is doing is looking at your grammar and your spelling and the quality of your writing. And again, it's a grade. You want it to be as high as possible. Okay. It gives you some ideas of things to go next, vocabulary builders, other writing strategies. Click next again. You can send these results to me. I encourage you to send them to me. All right. Uh, this way I can see that you care enough about your paper to bother having it proofread for you. Right? It would definitely be something I would consider when grading. So you put your name, you have to put your name, put your email address, and it'll let you know that it sent it to me, and you put your teacher code. The teacher code is posted on the website. You can go look there and get your code. You hit send. Right? Um, they also encourage you, if you find this service useful, to like them on Facebook. That's completely up to you. So... I hope you found this helpful. I hope you all take advantage of this opportunity, another way to get your work checked, particularly those of you who struggle with proofreading. Have a good rest of your night.